So it's been a bad couple of weeks, even months, if you're a serverless cloud provider. I'm sure you've probably seen by now this tweet by Jigna Zhang, the creator of Kara.app. Hopefully I did not mispronounce their name, but basically so freaking speechless right now. Seen many Vercel function stories, but first time experiencing such discrepancy versus request logs. Like this is cannot be real. And then we got this email, the snippet. This is your daily notification that your team has used 24,166% of your monthly included serverless function execution amount, which has added a 96,000 to your bill thus far. You'll continue to be charged $40 per 100 gigabyte hours used. That's not good. Nobody wants to build this fat. And I want to give credit to the Vercel team. They kind of did jump on this pretty quickly. Lee Rob appears to be helping out. But if you want more information, Fireship made a really good video about this when your serverless computing bill goes parabolic and he has some good alternatives to do and, and kind of talk about. But I really want to discuss here in this video about the dangers of using serverless functions. I think serverless functions are great. But however, I think there has been a bit of a misconception in the community about when, how, and the dangers of serverless functions. A lot of people seem to kind of forget that infrastructure is not free. And we've seen this time and time and time again, and not only from Vercel. Vercel kind of gets a bad rep on it, but you can see here, Nellify just sent me a $104,000 bill for a simple static site. This was due to a DDoS attack, which is a bit different because the owner of Kara just is blowing up. This is a really cool app. And uh, you can see here, even Cloudflare had an incident where it wasn't serverless, but Cloudflare was basically holding their client hostage for a $120,000 Cloudflare bill that the customer did not want to pay or move forward to. But yeah, I mean, Primogen covered it. You can see here, he has one video, another video, and Theo covered it in his video. So a lot of people are talking about all these cloud providers and these big bills associated with using their services. Some instances are different than others. But the point that I kind of want to discuss here is you can't forget that serverless functions and infrastructures, they're not free. There's no such thing as free lunch. And I wanted to kind of write this little diagram as a reminder, I'm using Vercel as an example, of what is actually happening when you use a Vercel kind of deployment function or Vercel function as they're known. Obviously this markup obviously is gonna be more expensive because what it is at the end of the day or one component of it is it's a wrapper on top of AWS Lambda. AWS Lambda, you can obviously just go and provision one Lambda yourself or multiple Lambdas and execute them how you want or you can do it through Vercel and Vercel is gonna have a bit of a markup. I say a bit kind of loosely. It's a business model. I'm not here to talk about the business. The number one thing to remember with serverless architecture is you are basically giving up or trading the time you would spend scaling, setting up and configuring a server-based architecture. So let's say you have your own instance, your own Hetzner instance that you configure and it's self-hosted. You have to spend time configuring that to handle DDoS attacks, to handle scalability, security, all those things where something like an AWS Lambda function or serverless function handles it for you. But the trade-off isn't free. The trade-off is you are basically paying per invocation. It's a different business model. So you have to remember, you're kind of trading off and paying to save your time. You're not gonna have to worry about spinning up this instance and setting all those things up that I talked about previously, but you just have to pay more per invocation. And this is actually really good if you have no users like if you actually have no user on your app, serverless architecture is perfect because you're gonna be the only person invoking it and they're very cheap. Single invocations on like 512 megabytes configured lambdas are extremely cheap. You'll never get that bill, right? But it's when you start getting users and Jenga's app passed 500,000 users. You can see here, this is posted one day before this kind of, you know, upsetting tweet here that they uh, passed 500,000 users, half a million, I can't even. So it's been incredible to see this, but that's kind of the trade-off. You don't have to worry about scaling it because if they did not expect to get this kind of load, I can almost guarantee that their infrastructure without Lambda wouldn't ha not have been able to handle that uptick in volume. And you probably would have had your server crashing and a bunch of other things happening behind the scenes. So the trade-off is your app continued to work. It was, you know, you onboarded so many different users and you were handling different invocations for every user, but now you have this almost $100,000 bill. I don't know the update of this. I'm pretty sure they've discussed it with the Vercel team. They'll figure it out, I hope. But yeah, just kind of a reminder, quick video, be smart about not only of how you choose the infrastructure, but always remember the trade-offs, right? Like if it's too easy, if it's too simple, something's too like 
easy for you to do and deploy. There's always a trade off, there's always a catch, and there's always something that could bite you at the end of it. So that's kind of a quick video I wanted to give you guys. But beware about the dangers of serverless architecture and serverless functions as a whole. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.